Yes, don't forget to check out Doggy Dom is No Filter on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. You heard what I said, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you've never been there before, before, I always mess up on this part. If you've never been there before, the links are right in the description box. Also, for $100, I promote whatever you need on my social medias and my website. That's my Twitter, Facebook, Insta Stories, YouTube community, and my website, www.doggydiamondstv.com. Hit me up on Instagram at Doggy Diamonds for your promo. Serious inquiries only. Must be cash app ready. Also, the perks is back on the channel, man. You could be the member of the channel again. If you was before, you could return, become a member. You're going to get exclusive stuff, stuff that nobody see, early release stuff. I promise it's that real. Let's go. So as we start, y'all should be already hitting the like button. Y'all should be subscribed already. That's why you're here. You should already hit the... The bells. I don't even know if they do the bell to get the notifications. YouTube, y'all tripping. Y'all just changing everything all around. I'm t- giving people instructions that ain't even there no more. What are we doing? But I'm Doggy Diamonds. Um, matter of fact, man, stop the music. Stop the music. Stop the music. What's up, everybody? You already know who I am. I'm Doggy Diamonds. This is Doggy Diamonds. No filter. This is Doggy Diamonds TV. Doggy Diamonds. You already know what I do. So I've interviewed a lot of people in my life. Um, A lot of people. But this man... I wanted to interview for a minute and we was Facebook friends and I'm I'm pretty sure if I had to just DM them and to get an interview, we've been did it. But all things work in divine order. You know, we come together. Shout out to DJ No Frills because this man is from Philly. One of the first Philly artists besides Steady B and Cool C, the youngsters and all that. But one of the first Philly artists. And I bet you I ain't even know he's from Philly, but I'm going to show you all who I'm talking about. Introduce yourself to the people. What's good, people? This is Tracy Lee. Mm-hmm. It's party time. I know that's the part that you know. Yeah. But a lot of people know the record more so than they know the artist. So without further ado, how you doing, yeah. people? This is Tracy Lee. What's good? Why do you think that is you didn't have the notoriety of, oh, there go Tracy Lee. We knew it's party time. Oh, we knew having a party. We knew that, but we didn't know you. I mean, the, the record... Okay, so I got signed in spring of 96. We recorded that record, you know, um, probably September of 96. Mm -hmm. And by October of 96, Red Alert got a hold of it. And once he got a hold of it and gave the go sign for it, it just took off. Mm. So me being signed to Universal at the time, you know, they didn't know nothing about hip hop. You Mm. know what I'm saying? How to market it, how to promote it, how to do... They were you know, basically a, a, a kind of a, a major startup, if you will, right? Mm. And they got all these acts under Universal from the Lost Boys to Erica Badu. To, but from a hip-hop perspective, they didn't know how to market it. So it was like, let's throw it up against the wall and see if it sticks. And that record stuck mm. without them building the artists. You see what I'm saying? So we are playing catch-up the whole time. The record takes off. Now we making an album, and half of the album is my demo. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So, you know, just to capitalize, because this is how corporate works. You know what I mean? They want to capitalize and try to get the bag off of the popularity of the single. Make the video, drop the album, like four or five months later, never built the artist. So that's why people know the song more so than who's Tracy Lee. You know what I'm saying? So was that um straight universal or crazy cat catalog universal? I was confused. Well, it was by Storm Universal, by which Storm. is Mark Pitts. Crazy Cat is D Dot. D Dot is the connection between Mark and I, even though we all went to school together. We all went to Howard. But Mark, you know, I just knew Mark just from being on the campus. <clears throat> but D Dot was my mentor and, and my guy with regards to, you know what I mean, just spitting bars and understanding the business and things like that. So he's the one that told Mark, because they all up under the puff umbrella at this time. Yo, you need to, you know, rock with Trey. Trey get busy. And so that's when, you know, Mark was like, oh, I ain't know Trey did that, but he knew who I was. But, you know, we started giving him the music. And then, um, you know, from that. And then, interestingly enough, as he's getting the demos, Big is in the car with Mark, kind of co-signing with, with Dottie telling him, you know, mm-hmm. your man is nice. Your man is nice. So then that's when Mark pulled the trigger and went ahead and, and sent the contract. Was he managing big at this time? Yep. Okay. He was managing. Absolutely. So so 
Because I always, I didn't understand. So, so D Dot produced that record. Yes, D Dot and Ron Lawrence. They were called. Oh, um, yeah, the, they were all under the hitman. But him and him and Amon yeah, Ra, they, yeah, they were called. They were called the rap group at one the, point. Two Kings and the yes, Cipher. Yeah. Absolutely. For the brothers, the brothers. Oh, you, who know, you know what it is. Oh, I'm a hip hop historian. We we, <laughs> we 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 do this for real, for real. You That's know what I'm saying? Up. That's back when um Amon Ra. He was Amon Ra. He yes, had the Fez absolutely. on and all that. You know. So yeah, um. They used them in the beginning of the video. They use um Cooley Live, yes. Cooley High, Cooley High, Cooley High. I say Cooley High, the homie. Yeah. yeah. So um you know because I always thought you were signed to D Dot for some reason. I didn't know that Mark Pitts was um so so okay. I was his first art like I was the first artist that he signed. I mean for people that don't know, Mark went on to do you know J Cole and Chris Brown and. You know, the list goes on and on, man. So yeah. So what I what I want to know is that in this situation, you're a part of something that's about to be major, mm -hmm. but it just ain't major when you're there. Right. So you do the the um what's it called? The anthem? The theme. The theme. Called, I was called yeah, I was called it because it was a damn anthem. So we just call that shit the anthem. The theme. And that's from isn't that from a, like a Saturday morning cartoon? Yeah, 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 yeah. Rock. yeah. Schoolhouse Rock, Rock. yeah. So, so, dog, you when was you born, son? When was you born? I ain't telling you, nah. Yeah, so this guy. You, am I old? I might be older. Nah, you older than me, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you um, seven? You're a seventies baby, so you know what it is. Mid, mid, mid to late seventies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what yeah, it is. yeah. So, um, but I, but I, um, you know, remember I came up around Trackmasters, so an easy yeah. Moby. So I was around all the records, all the samples. You know what I'm saying? Moby called another day. So oh, that's um, my guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you, um, you, you, we, we see you. Um, you don't sound like a typical Philly guy. Why is that? Okay, I got to shoot a quick. What does that mean? Well, when we, well, now when we think Philly, first it was ages, rather, um, eras of Philly. Because at one mm -hmm. point we knew Steady B, Cool C, the whole Hilltop Hustler sound. Mm -hmm. Then you got the Roots. Mm -hmm. But then you had the state properties, the beanies, the meek mills and all that. So when I think back of Philly, a lot of them are very similar when you think about beans and meek and Joey Jihad and NH and all these guys. But when I hear you, the, even journalists, shout out to y'all. I was listening to the yeah, journalists. Yeah, yo, I was listening to the journalists because he was one of the first people to have Marsha Ambrosius on the, on the hook before, yes. how it's supposed yeah. to be. You know what yes. I'm saying? Yes. Um, I was just listening to that the other day. I just put on Twitter, what the hell happened to journalists? But um, nice, super nice. When I hear when I hear Philly, I uh, I think of a lot of pain, um, mm -hmm. a lot of drug dealer rap, um, a lot of hustler rap. Mm -hmm. But I we 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 got a lot of um party from you you was more like you know having fun and and, and spitting so the bars now i'm not saying the bars wasn't there but right. you wasn't the drug dealer, drug dealer hustler well i um i came in in a unique spot like i came in right after bahamadia and the roots gotcha and and before that it was the youngsters yes right? and then before that it was cool c steady mm -hmm. that, that, that. but i came in after like this was like, you know, Bahamadi the Roots is 95, 94, 95. I came in in 96, 97. And I'm a little older, right? So mm -hmm. I left Philly. You know what I mean? Once got I graduated you. from high school, mm -hmm. I went to Howard. Got you. you. Know what I'm and so once I got down to Howard, you get around a different environment. Got you. you. Know what I'm saying? It's not only collegiate, but it's people from all over the world. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And so, you know, some of my... My peoples is not only from New York and Jersey and, you know, up in the Northeast Corridor, you know what I mean? But there's some people that, you know, are from Chicago, from L.A., from, you know, Texas, you know what I mean? Even, you know, in, from the Caribbean. Got you. So it's like you get cultured, you know what I mean? I don't know mean? why we freezing really quick. I don't know what the hell is going on. It actually froze the whole program. Froze. Oh, we we back. I don't know what the hell happened. We we froze for a minute, but we back. Um, yeah. So, but 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 the audio was still there. So you you you're in a melting pot basically. Yeah. So, um, yeah. a typical sound. Your sound is going to be universal. Yes, is what you absolutely. basically saying. And, that, and that's essential. And plus, you know, under the you know, like I said, Dot is a mentor. So under the tutelage of Dot, after he's coming off of the hills of making a record, making records, making an album, 
and then you know him and Mark, you know, working under Puff and seeing what what certain formula is, mm -hmm. especially around that time, and seeing how you know the clubs are moving and radio is moving and all that kind of stuff. It's like you get the combination. You know what I'm saying? You get the combination. So why you didn't go to Bad Boy? Uh, honestly, I <laughs> I don't think Puff really rock with me like that. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> that's, that's, that's that's just my opinion. I could be dead wrong, but I just never thought Puff because we I was I was a part of a crew called Power Move, and then later we called because we expanded with our brothers up in the Bronx, my man Pi and Born and Fever, God rest his soul, from the south from the South Bronx. Um, we expanded and called ourselves R and F. Mm -hmm. And so Puff was actually about to sign one of the cat, I mean, a group in our crew called One Step Beyond, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And so he was more, you know, I guess going in that direction. And again, I, like I said, it could just be me and my ego, but, but I didn't don't you think- Didn't go to school together too, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all went, yeah, all of us went to school. Did together. you smash one of the chick he like or smash one of the chick? Nah, I, nah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Because you I, know I dudes be holding grudges for like 50 years behind stuff like that, nah, man. You be like, yo, nah. why? I always tell dudes, yo, whenever you got somebody who that might have a little dislike for you and you don't know why, check the chicks. It's always, but nah. I don't really, <laughs> <laughs> you, but it be real, though. Check the chicks. No, no, nah, real rap. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. but you, you never know what the underlying meaning. Like I said, it could be me because... You know, he's always been cordial. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It ain't never been no, you know, we 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 see each other and it's been like, ah, oh, they go trade. It's always been, you know, shaking. But you know, in this business, you kind of get a vibe from certain people. You know what I'm saying? Without there, there's certain things that are, you know, that there's a vibe that you get that doesn't have to be spoken. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, it's, just, it's 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 called we call that aura. It's a certain yeah. aura that's like, hmm. Maybe yeah. he ain't feeling me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, it ain't because it ain't. You no, know, I think a lot of times we think, oh, it's B for his hatred. Nah, just right. some people just, just yeah. energy, energy just don't mesh. So you you do the thing, um, then you do this monster record, um, mm -hmm. keep your hands high. Was you the first person to use that sample? Yep. You know how many people use that after you, right? Yeah, it was cannabis. Me and cannabis was real close. Woo! Yo, listen, I ain't gonna front. We was under the same label, so yeah. I ain't gonna front. Clark Kent did that, I think. Yeah, Clark and Kent. And I can hear the SB twelve hundred because it goes through the, the the ring modulation. I can hear that. So he killed that. Then Jay Z did it. Yeah. But it was deep because he kind of used it in his purest form. You chopped it. Cannabis chopped it. But he just kind of like they looped it. Put some shout drums. out to Igly the Third because Igly the Third is the one that did the track. But I got an interesting story about the Jay situation. Go ahead, finish. Okay, we gonna go. So yeah, so when I hear that the Jay Z thing, but then he uses Big rap on the song from the song that Big did with you. So people don't know the rings and things you sing about. Bring them out. That's from your record. Facts. So you do this song with Big. What was your relationship with Big? All right, so like I mentioned before, Big was there from the beginning of the process. Okay. God's be getting signed. He's in the car with Mark as Mark is listening to the demos and trying to figure out based on Dot's recommendation whether or not he wants to sign me. Mm -hmm. And so he was leaning in that direction because he knew me already. Now he knows that I'm a spitter. And now Big is in the car listening to the demos and confirming what Dot is already telling him. Yo, your man is nice. Your mm -hmm. man is nice. So from that point, me and Big, you know, we, we, we building a rapport. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm on the phone with him. You know what I'm saying? After I, you know, get signed and he's, you know, just dropping jewels, just letting me know about certain things in the game because he had been in the game now about five years mm -hmm. up to this point. So, you know, and he's and he telling me, you know, just all kind of stuff, man. Just, you know, look out for this, look out for that. You know, and he's even, you know, during the session, He's already telling me, like, look, man, me and Un, we 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 building some things because once I fulfill my obligation, I'm out. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, he was already on a trajectory of, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going behind the scenes. Mm. I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not doing this, you know, forever. And at that point, I I never realized that, yeah, there's more to, because all I want to do is, is spit Rap. and make mm -hmm. records. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he was the one that kind of shed light for me especially the stature that he's at 
like, oh, you you trying to get off the mic and get behind the scenes, not understanding, understanding now, there's way more money behind the scenes too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, me and Big's rapport, it was even though I'm, you know, I was a couple years older than Big, mm-hmm. you know, he was kind of like a mentor too. Yeah, he's older than me. Big. He's 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 a few years older than me. Yeah. So yeah. based on his experience in the game, I'm like, I'm just soaking it up. So our rapport was was real good, man. Studio you know, session. Um yeah. Did y'all recorded it together? Yes. Same where, studio, D and D studios. Oh, y'all went to the uh, to, to the hip hop studio. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Premier. Yeah. Shout out to Premier. So, so the so the the uh the beat is playing. Um, he starts. Hold on, before, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. We, get, yeah, get, yeah, I want it I all. Walk, I want it all. Go ahead. I want it all. I walk in the studio. Mm-hmm. Big is already there, but I told you an interesting story about Jay. Jay's in there too. You lying? He's chopping it up with Big. Right, because it's D and D. Yeah, they all used to frequent that place. Yeah, so so this is the first time I meet Jay, but he's across the hall. You know what I'm saying? Doing the streets is watching. Mm. But, but I find it interesting that he's there because the beat is still playing. Because Big is, you know, just you know how Big do. You mm-hmm, know how mm-hmm. he, you know, form formulates his his rhymes and all that. Everything is in the head, but he's still kind of piecing it together, writing mm-hmm, as mm-hmm. he's talking and all this other stuff. But I find it interesting enough that couple of years later, he's in our session and he takes a piece of what was in our session and the sample and does that. You know what I'm saying? Do it you does, get paid for that though? And I say, I, I should, right? I should, right? No, I'm saying, ain't you supposed to though? That's fine. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed, like I haven't, I haven't knocked on any doors yet. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so let the money accumulate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I haven't knocked yeah, on yeah. any doors yet. And and if I'm not mistaken, you are uh, an attorney, right? Absolutely. Oh shit! I'm about to say he could, he could call <laughs> himself. <laughs> and you're an entertainment attorney. Absolutely. Oh damn! So you ain't got oh, whew. yeah. So you know. um, the the session you don't see no pen and paper with Big. Nah. And he's first you, time I ever seen that. You're wondering where's his rhyme at, right? You're wondering like when is he going to. And then he goes in the booth and do what? And he just starts piecing it all together. Mm. Fuck that. I preach it. My nine reaches. Okay, bring that back. <laughs> Fuck that. I preach it. My nine reaches. The prestigious. Cats speak. Okay, cut that right there. Then he's just piecing the shit all together. And I'm just sitting up here like, Yo, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yo, but but the shit is just so incredible. I'm like, man, because I, you know, I never saw nobody do that. You know, mm. back then we pin and padding it up. This yeah. is pre uh, iPhone, Samsung. I hated, I hated that anyway, text, though. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is notebook paper. Pre two way. Pre two way. Two way was the first. Two way was the first. Yeah, pre yeah. two way. Pre two way. Yep. So yeah. I mean, but it was just incredible to see. You know what I'm saying? The way, and and I understood after the fact um the way that the, the, why why he does it and the way his rhymes sound it, it, when you when, when you witness it firsthand you understand why the the clarity is there why he's able to bend and twist syllables because he writes in a way if you're not going to use a pen and pad you, you well find, you're not going to end at the stanza facts that's what it is. It's no, so you can have a different cadence because when you write on pen and pad, you end at the end right there. That's right. When you don't use a pen and paper, your shit could be all over the place. That's right. You know what and I'm saying? And you can bend and twist the yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. To, different cadences. You know yeah, different cadences. Different syllables. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's 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 why um that's why he he started doing that because I used to see him write. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he did right, right, write right, at one right, point. Right. You know what I'm saying? People you don't know that. He used, he to, used write to write. So, yeah, when people say, yo, he never wrote, I'm like, yo, you lying. I seen him write. Because when you think he says, I was a terrorist since the public school era of bathroom classes, you that you can hear that. But when we say, fuck that's that, right. I preach it. My non reach, you can't write that because that's a bounce. Right. It, it, that's, that's a, a bounce. bounce. That's a bounce. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a bounce. So, he goes in there. You have your verse already? Yeah, I have, I have the. I had the first verse. I wrote the second because we did one, two, uh, three verses. Mm. A piece. I I had the first verse. I wrote the second verse, and then I wrote the third verse. But I wanted to to catch 
what he did off of his third verse to make sure that it bounced properly. Got because you. at the end of the day, we trying to make a hot record. Yeah. But at the same time, it's two MCs that got egos in the room. So it's like you coming at my and and and, and I and I um and I take pride in this. When people say, yo, that's some of the big best bars I ever heard, I always tell them, why did he go there? What 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 made him go there? You understand? That was like, who shot you, but that was who shot you before who shot you. Facts. That shit was why like that shit was hard. Did you? W w all right. So you're in the session. I know sometimes we in a surreal moment. Did you realize history was being made while it was being made? Nah, we were just two MCs going bar for bar mm. and seeing who could out bar each other, but at the same time still make a high record based on the concept. Because people got to remember, this is a conceptual record. We robbing cats in the industry that's faking the phone. When like, did, and, if you're not, and if you're not faking it, then run it. You when know did, when did it hit you that? something special just happened it didn't hit me until because i don't know if you notice if you go to the many faces album mm -hmm. you don't see featuring notorious big mm. why is that you have to find a record because puff or whoever said no we're not giving you sticker rights <laughs> let's call it what it is and mark and mark was like yo come on like it made sense to everybody except for when it didn't happen like we're thinking Mark is big manager. Mark and Puff got a rapport. Dot got a rapport with Mark. And, you know, it just made sense. So when it comes back and you say, nah, we couldn't get sticker rights, I'm like, huh? But they cleared him, but didn't want to put his name on it? All right. So let me ask you not to be in your business. Did he, did he, did you, um, did he charge you for that verse? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So he got paid, cleared. Yep. yep. But you couldn't get. Right and sticker. Couldn't advertise. Couldn't advertise. You couldn't say. No, 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 no. You lying. No, so, nah. go look on go look on the album. Go look on the album. You know how much no. but but do you know, and I know you know because you're a lawyer, entertainment lawyer specifically. Do you know how much that hurt you? Oh yeah, I know. Oh I know. man. Oh, trust me. We was out of here. And 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 God rest his soul, we was really out of here because we were gonna open up for the tour, for the life after death tour. So yeah, I mean, life. My life changed, and 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 might I say, hindsight looking, it probably changed for the better. You know what I'm saying? Because there ain't no telling. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that He's man, but I, yeah. I never realized that. Because now you're gonna make me go on Apple Music and look it up to see because it was so long ago. We we hear the record. Sometimes we don't see the record. See, the audience don't see the record. They don't see the vinyl. They don't see it. We hear it, and we'll we'll find it, and then we don't realize. Hold on, don't say big on this. Mm -mm. But going back to your, your initial question, when did it hit me? Mm -hmm. It hit me because of the fact that we never announced that big was on it. And people heard, got wind of it, and it took off. Mm. They didn't need to, like, if we'd have had to stick it right, it would have been way, way out of, been here. out of here. But it still got to the surface because of the fact that it was just a banging record. Like, I always believe if you got it, I don't, it may take longer than some. But if you got a, a heater, it's gonna it's gonna get it's to the surface soon. Yeah, it's gonna cook you know regardless. Yeah, yeah. But that yo, you just you just completely probably just fucked my head up for the day because <laughs> I didn't I didn't know that. And and um, sure. I, I I remember though this this is a story that I do remember that Puff was very um possessive of Big. Mm -hmm. He didn't want Big to be used outside of him. Mm -hmm. Even with Junior Mafia, he was only allotted a certain amount of records he could be on. He wasn't able to write nothing and put it on paper that he wrote it because Puff had to publish it. So he had to sneak write. It was a lot of shit. Um, wow. Big was in a very, very uh, good situation because it's changed his life. But on paperwork, right? it was it morally was very bad. You know what I'm but saying? That's why he said, you know, I think he, that's the reason why he said, when I'm done with my obligation, I'm out. Did you you want to hear something crazy? Everything that Big aspired to do, Puff did. Yep. With the Brooklyn Mint, Sean yep. John, yep. he wanted to open a restaurant. He did Justin's. Mm -hmm. Everything he wanted to do, he did. And mm -hmm. and that's just, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Big. That was the homie. But yep. you caught one of the 
You caught him. You caught. You caught. You caught them verse though. Like you. You caught it. Like you. Like because when I first heard that, I was like, because mm, I think I can't call a sample off head, but I'm thinking that's on um, the sounds of Philadelphia. That's one yeah, of them groups. Huh? Yeah. 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 It's the sounds of Philadelphia group. Yeah. So the, the 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 green label with the purple thing that's it's i'm picturing it in my head right now because i got mad records you know what i'm saying so i'm picturing it but i used to always listen to that and i was like this is cool but then i heard what you did then clark kent showed off with the cannabis and then i heard the jay-z and like i said out of the production the jay-z joint might be the weakest one on mm -hmm. the production but he lyrically, you know, he he gonna yeah, be yeah. who he is. You he know sparing. what I'm saying? And then just yeah. the sparing, you know, sparing you do the intro to whole, and it was in a movie, so that yeah. you know what I'm saying. But so it's no way right now. So is is the is your, is that album on um all streaming platforms? Oh, it's only, and this is a universal thing, and because you know they they essentially own many faces, you know, for all intents and purposes, uh, it's only on. From what I understand, title mm. and Spotify, I want to say. Not Apple Music. Not Apple Music. So there's no way in 2022, we about to hit 2023, there's no way you can get featuring Notorious B.I.G. on there now? I'm sure if, if you know, if I want to get on the phone, go back and forth and all this other. But honestly, bro, like... um. Being a lawyer is not <laughs> what people think. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of it's it's it, you know it's a lot of negotiating, a lot of politics, a lot of back and forth, a lot of you know if I do this, can you do that? Da 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 da. And I ain't you know I I I knew I wanted to understand. Really, I I went and got my law degree, and and I am an entertainment attorney. Really, for 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 other cats that's coming up in the game, mm -hmm. and kind of give them that head start. Mm -hmm. Before you decide that you want to get in this, I got a lot of jewels to give. You know what I'm saying? From from both sides. From you know experience I mean? so, as the artist and on paper of education. And 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 you know, it was a branding thing for me because there's no other, you know, former, you know, uh, major label artist, hip hop artist that is an attorney. You yeah, know what that's I'm that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, this is an anomaly. So I did it for those reasons, not necessarily to be, you know, had this be my full time job. I pick and choose my clients. I do, you know, mm -hmm. things here and there. But it's it's you, if you are a full time an attorney, I guarantee a full time attorney, I guarantee you have no life. Yeah, because I probably the paperwork alone, the the crazy, crazy, you know, all this. So you you do this song. Um, how many singles did you have off the album? I had the theme. I had the after party with Buster, mm -hmm, Man mm -hmm, Pie, mm -hmm. Pirate, and then I had Give It Up Baby, which was the which was the third third single. I never and heard that. After that, and see, that that's a whole nother. Because <laughs> yeah, I've never heard we, that. We, yo, me and Dot fought and fought and fought because we had this other record called Stars in the East mm. that was featuring One Step Beyond. Mm -hmm. That I know, especially in the middle of the summer, mm -hmm. you would have let that one go. I mean, even even the fact that we couldn't advertise big, that record right there would have put us in another space too. That you know should have got. Saying? That should have been a B side to anything, because you that, know, that B been, nigga, that should have been the video to sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, but they the probably video. wouldn't have cleared them for the video. If they didn't claim for the sticker, sticker rights, right? Yeah, yeah. They didn't clear. Explain to people what sticker rights are, though, because I heard you say I, that a few times. So sticker rights are again when you are able to advertise on the album when we used to put out albums and cassettes and things like that when you picked it up you saw you know uh uh many faces with the hit single the theme like on the sticker that step right in the front Got you. You know, feature and then also featuring notorious big like we weren't able to do that you know what i'm saying so you had to literally put the record on the needle or needle on the record or put the cassette in the tape deck and press play to figure out that Big was on the record. That's the most bizarre shit. So, so okay, because I'm confused. Because I, I love I love this part right here. I want to title this. So, who had... But we going to blame somebody to say so. Is it Puff? Let's keep it... We got to keep it real. Is it Puff? Okay. It could be Puff. It could be Arista. Because I think that was the the the, the umbrella um, uh, that was over Bad Boy. Mm-hmm. them. 
And it could have been, who's the parent? Is it Sony? Was it Sony at the time or was it Warner? Whoever the big, like there's a hierarchy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it could have been somebody at the they top. They don't come from that top though. Because they don't or give a fuck. Puff. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. Like they, because they're gonna look at it like this is good promotion for him as well, because it's a good record, especially if y'all do the video. Because you know back then, um, the more you, the more you spent on the artist was good for them because they're gonna benefit in the end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's 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 a heavy load. But I'm gonna tell you the other thing that was mind boggling too, because initially Universal. Scheduled the album to come out the same day as Life at the Death. Mm. Now, why would you do that? Mm. Their whole idea was, yeah, we could put this album right next to Life After Death, but you can't advertise the big is on the album, so That's that what... doesn't make sense whatsoever. So what they did was, in the final hour after they didn't let, you know, a couple of stores know that March twenty fifth was the date. Blah blah blah. They tried to change the date to two weeks later, which was April eighth. So essentially, I got two release dates. If you go on online, you'll see uh, uh, you'll you'll see a listing that says Many Faces was released on March twenty fifth, mm -hmm. and then you'll also look somewhere else and say Many Faces was released on April eighth. So what that does is that confuses the audience too. Because back then we had to go to the record store and say, yo, y'all got that new trailer yet? Right. Oh, nah, it ain't coming out to eight. Hey, what? I ain't coming back. And then and then the other thing is, you know, back then it was always based on first week sales. Yes. And the pre-orders. The pre-orders and, pre and the first and week the sales. Yep. And pre-orders. Because mm -hmm. you can ship gold and be like, yo. Yeah, I'm gold. That's good. And they you don't know you just ship them shit right back. Like, yeah, you owe, money. Right back, you, you owe exactly. money. You owe. So, um. <laughs> So that that's your album. That is 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 that your baby or cause cause to me, um, what I'm sensing is that you love the work, but you just like, man, I did that. I don't really own the rights to it, so you ain't like fuck that album, but you like fuck that album a little bit. Nah, nah no, cause cause like I told you, half that album was a demo. Got you. So I am attached to it because like records like Who's Crew, Stars in the East, um, Repent. Mm -hmm. I did those while I was like fresh out of college, like after I graduated from college, but still down in the scene. Mm -hmm. It still was a piece of my life then. Mm -hmm. So there's a certain attachment to it. Not to mention the fact that a, my demo tape was actually the album. See, I, I, did, I was talking to somebody the other day and it was like, Yo, my man Kill, he was like, do you realize how hot that is? Like how your demo was the was the first, real, your demo yeah, was Because the normally first. they make you re-record. Yeah, we like that, but we, we're not using none of that. Right. Yeah. So so I, I do have a certain sentimental attachment to it, but I'm also a firm believer of, you know, you got to, you got to keep moving. You yeah. got to keep going. You can't get stuck in the, in, the, in the past. You know what I'm saying? So when was it over with By Storm Universal? When was it over? 2001 i had got a budget to do a second album called mm -hmm. live 215 I actually completed the second album mm -hmm. um it had a very young and spry uh kid from chicago straight off the train by the name of kanye west that did a couple of <laughs> records on there it had um my man the late great rest in peace chucky thompson mm -hmm. who co-produced on that album it had uh the likes of corrupt Mm. Uh, R.I.P. Black Rob, mm. uh, Buckshot Shorty, mm. or Buckshot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he changed um, his day by then, yeah. Yeah, um, it had uh, my homegirl Cassandra from Change of Faces. I mean, uh, I, I interviewed her too. Yeah, yeah. I oh, think they hacked her Instagram. Where's it? Where, they, they got her Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yep, got her Instagram. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. That's, that's my homegirl, yeah. And, and D Dot, you know, executive produced it. I mean, the album is a banger, you know what I'm saying? Because people don't but, know that. Kanye was on the D dot for a while, absolutely. Because he did um, so ghetto on the album with Carl absolutely. Thomas. That's yeah. Absolutely. Yo, you yeah. know your shit though. I'm God telling you, you know. man. This this you know that's why I love hip hop. We know we we. I've been in this since I was 15 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like big. We from the same neighborhood, so I remember Fat Chris. Y'all know Notorious yeah. B.I.G. and 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 um, Biggie. I knew Fat Chris, so you yeah. know, it was a time where we had to love this. Yes. To mess with it, it wasn't because it wasn't no money. Right. It was no, it wasn't no money. No, no, no. 
No, I'm talking about no money, no show money, nothing. You would go to the the party and say, "Could I get on?" Right. You wasn't getting paid, and it was times where you went, nobody was passing you that mic. You know right. what I'm saying? But for right. me, coming from the DJ standpoint, I used to say, "Yo, could I get on the turntable?" But I'm like 12. You know what I'm saying? They're like, "Yo, get out of here!" Till you have to build your weight up. You got to get your weight up, and you don't quit. So now dudes do it for money because it's a bag in it. Man, I loved it before I knew I could ever make a dollar. You know what I'm saying? So that's what made me read the the liner notes and all that stuff. And oh, the drum program is by stuff. Who is who is this? Oh, it's mm -hmm. produced by him, but this person did this drum print. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I knew who um Kanye was. You know, that's when he had a funny haircut back then and stuff yep, too. Yep, yep, so yep. you was in the studio with Kanye. Kanye, um, matter of fact, uh uh 50, 50. Wow. Like that's like that's my guy. Like he, you know, how to rob. Like he's in in the studio with Crazy Cat, but I admit 50. Because that's the mad rapper yeah. on how to rob. Absolutely. Yeah. But I but, but me and 50 and Jay, God rest his soul, like when the when the theme was bubbling, like me and 50 used to, this is when 50 was trying to get on. I don't know if Cash remember, but he used to wear this this chain with the with the 50, with the 50 pennies in the joint. You know what I'm saying? But it was like a you gold. Took it back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But 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 we we used to chop it up back then. Like and when I run into 50, I haven't ran into 50 in maybe like 15 years. Mm -hmm. But it's always love because it goes back to the humble beginnings. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So but he was around during that time, the crazy cat, um the, the, the whole crazy cat scene, you know what I'm saying? And was up at uh the henchman studio. Mm -hmm. Um where Doc kind of took over, you know, when Henchman was away. You so, said 50 was uh, in the henchman studio? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't uh, let that go past. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to Bryce too. Bryce was around there too. Mm -hmm. Bryce from Groove Theory was around mm -hmm. back then. You know what I'm saying? Shout yep. out to Bryce. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How times have changed since then. Man, listen. Listen. Yeah. yeah. Listen. That's when Henchman had the um bulletproof love, I think. And everybody's walking around with bulletproof. They looked like bulletproof vests. But they mm -hmm. were shirts, and it's, it was a movie sound, something like that. But Henchman yeah. had did the thing. So mm -hmm. you record the second album. You got mm -hmm. a new guy from Chicago named Kanye West. At that that time, his credit was K West. He wasn't even getting called Kanye. It was K West. Right. Right. Um, this pre Rockefeller. Pre Rockefeller, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the album don't drop. Don't drop. They drop me. Mm. So the album is done, completed. But 2001, January, I get a phone call. It says, uh, thank you for your services, but your services are no longer needed. Verbatim? So, uh, verbatim. And, uh, and so Monty Lippman, you know, he calls me up in the office because I was in Miami at the time, you know, kind of doing a quick run, promo run for mm -hmm. the album. And so it was kind of an omen because it was raining down there. It was nasty, you know what I'm saying, in Miami. Like, I'm thinking, you know, and they was like, and, and, and the show got canceled or something. They was like, well, no, nah, I just stay down there. Come on back Monday. Not, you know, me not understanding that the hatchet was wait, waiting for me. So I get the JFK. As soon as I get off the plane, you know, your services are no longer needed. Come up to the office. We got a parting gift for you. So I went up to the office maybe like Tuesday. Monty Lippman said, hey, man. You know, they hand me a check for like ten thousand dollars to say, you know, because this is around the time that Cash Money is popping, Nelly is popping. You know what I'm saying? So they're ushering in this this new wave and kind of ushering out the old. So mm -hmm. cats like myself, A Plus, Lost Boys, all of them, you know, McGruff, they're kind of pushing us to the side, like you know what I'm saying? So because again, Universal is you know, trying to figure this thing out because they don't know nothing about hip hop. They just, whatever sticks, whatever's going to make some money, that's what we're doing. So I get dropped in January 2001 and then I got to figure this thing out. So I go back home to my mom's crib, mm. you know what I'm saying? And I stay there for like three months and then she's like, oh, you got to get up out of here. Dang. So then I go down to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? And, and I um, get an apartment with my brother and so he goes off and goes to grad school. So then I met a young lady while I was down there. It kind of held me down, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. while I'm trying to figure this thing out. I make a record called Ready, Willing, and Able, which mm -hmm. was funded by Marlon Wayne. Shout out to my man. Mm -hmm. Like, that's my guy. You know what I'm saying? He went to Howard as well. Mm -hmm. So, he, you know, we put out this single. And it does all right, but it ain't, you know, it's, it's independent, so it's not moving like You ain't got no bag behind it. It's exactly. College radio. 
Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, so I get down to my last seven dollars, man, and I like and I love to tell this story, man, because I'm a very spiritual cat. So, you know, I go to church, and really, it's, it's a symbolic gesture. So, I'm like, look, God, you, you got to help me figure this out, like, you know, what I'm saying, because I'm, I don't, you know, I'm lost. So, I just put the seven dollars in the plate, and so I get a call a week later from from Wayne Barrow. Now, mm. Wayne Barrow is the cousin of Mark Pitts. Mm. He's the vice president or president of Boston. Storm. And he says, yo, Universal um, called me and they said they got a check for you, but they don't have an address. So here's the number, you know, call them up, give me your address, and they'll send me the check. So I do that. Week after that phone call, I told you I was down to seven, gave it up. Week after that, the phone call, I get a check in the mail for $7,000. Mm. Week after that, I get another check for fifty seven thousand dollars. You see what I'm saying? You're so back on your feet, boom. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now we got to figure this thing out, though. Still, so I pay off some some college debt, blah blah blah, student loan, whatever. Still got some paper in the pocket, but I still got to make a move. And then that's when it dawned on me to go to law school. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Not only again for further education on. You know how this game works based on my past experiences, but also for cats coming up in the game, so I could get them the knowledge that I didn't get coming up. I had to bump my head a couple of times, so maybe I could give you a head start. You still might not listen to me because a lot of these kids don't. Don't listen because they 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 think they know, but they don't because you never went through. But they don't I even can... yo. A lot of times they don't even listen to me, and I'd be like, yo, this gonna happen. And you know what they say? Yo, I should listen to you. I'm not, no, oh, listen. Yeah. Nobody gave me a heads up. I done ran into the wall plenty of times, you know what I'm saying? Head first, like a damn ram. And, you know, I I, I I took all the bruises for a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of times, even when people want to start their media, their podcasts, be like, don't do this, don't do this, don't do that. And some of them don't listen and do it anyway. And they be like, yo, how do you? Nah, I don't, I'm all that viced out. <laughs> I don't, you know, maybe you should talk to, maybe you should talk to somebody you worship because you keep saying, you know, one of the biggest things that people say is now nah, all you got to do is that's not life. That's is not all you got to do. You know what I'm saying? It's more to all you got to do because like, you know, when you talk about the attorney thing, it's so much that go on behind the scenes of everything. All you see is the surface. You see the product. You see the finished product, but you didn't see the beginning. You didn't see the quit. You didn't see the start again. You didn't see the run out of money. You didn't see the all the pain, the suffering, people separating themselves from you, all types of stuff during it. You just see the finished product, and you don't know it was hell to go through it. Even, even, even me getting signed. Mm. Like there's a story before getting signed. Wow. You see what I'm saying? I got mm. signed in '96, but I had been doing this. Since I was in high school and got and had a deal before that, wow. you know what I'm saying? Deal wow. before the deal, you know what I mean? That mm -hmm. that Mark had to buy me out of to get on that league. So, you know, there's always there's no just pop up out of nowhere. Nobody so, did you ever? So, so why didn't you ever um, record more music, more music, and shop again and try to get another deal? Because by 2001. Going into 2003, 2004, 2005, especially during that mixtape run, mm -hmm. it was like that's when it really kind of dawned on me. Like, you don't really have to sign with a label. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the, the label was more so to get a bigger bag. Mm -hmm. But, and most people back then went and got the bigger bag from the label. But now you don't even have to do that. Yeah. Direct to consumer. Yes. That's what really the mixtape scene did it got you directly to the consumer now mm -hmm. once you figured out how to monetize directly from mm -hmm. the consumer and to get your marketing and promotion right and let the consumer know this is where it's at exactly yeah this is where it's at that's what you do though yeah yeah like you know what i'm saying because what people don't website. see what people don't know i'm not going to give it away but <laughs> I've, I've done things because what we didn't know that they knew it's about building a database mm -hmm. of all of these contacts. So now when I want to shift something to people, I can send it directly to you. You don't have to come to me no more. This mm -hmm. is where it's at. I need you to go here and get this. You know what I'm saying? Because again, like I tell people and where I heard Ja Rule say this, we live in a pool world now. You mm -hmm. can't push nothing on nobody. If I want to hear 
the theme. I can listen to it right now. Back then, I had to wait for it to come on the radio or wait for the video to come on. So you can't push nothing on nobody. You just got to let them know, yo, it's here. Pull it. Pull it. It's here. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Don't forget about it. Don't forget about it. So, I mean, we're in the driver's seat. We still got a lot of pitfalls because a lot of the old energy of how the labels and how the industry was run didn't change. Only thing it went was streaming, but their mentality of not paying the artists and the artists getting paid last and the artists getting the less. Because you know it's funny, you being an attorney, you hear somebody, yo, he signed for $1.7 million. I say, yo, all right, let me explain to you what happens. The money goes in escrow, right? They gave him an advance. The advance was him to get his life right, to get an apartment, to pay a couple of bills, and to be able to live, to get back and forth to the studio. Now, when he goes in that studio and he eats and he smokes, he charges it to the studio. That's out of his budget. They send the label, the invoice. When they get the invoice, they take the money out of what they took out of um, what they have in escrow. So, yeah, he has 1.7, but his marketing got to come out of that. His promotion got to come out of that. His videos got to come out of that. His wardrobe got to come out of that. And they might pay a PR and a stylist out of that money right there. So, yeah, go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. And guess what? It's recoupable. That's where I was going to go with it. (laughs) <laughs> so when you was in there and you was eating them burgers that was $25 and you took a bite of it and you said, I don't even want this burger. Guess who, who guess who's paying for that burger? Cause I remember being young and people be in the studio for, 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 for 10, 12 hours blocking it out, just writing. And I'm like, yo, a nah, the label pay for this. No, they don't. You pay for this dummy. You pay for this. You know what I'm saying? So again, um, it's a lot that, people don't know and remember we used to think the source was all the knowledge came from the source of whatever we read we thought was true we thought it was law so what i be trying to tell people i'll be like yo the industry be mad at me because i won't help them lie no more i tell the truth yo that's I, you could be mad at me but i should be mad at you because you lie right. you got to teach the kids the truth and give them the information and I bet you some of them might be discouraged from doing it because you're going to realize you are the last one to get paid. You got a 360? Yeah, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But like I told people, what you think about this advice? Yeah. I told people, if you get off of the 360, say you are homeless, destitute, fucked up. You get off of the 360. Do it, but just try to get terms where you can get out of it ASAP because they're going to put you in the system. You're going to get your blue checks on everything. You're going to get your breakfast club run. You're going to get everything. You're going to get a couple of dollars, but don't let them have you. Remember contracts back in the days used to be for 10 years. Yep. Now you can get three years, the bubble and you out of here. You wasn't going to do nothing for three years anyway. I think that sound advice. I understand it's a negotiation. You, you got the, you got to give to get. Mm-hmm. You just got to understand what you're getting and what you're willing to give. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you just got to look at your position. If you're an up-and-coming artist, right, like, and you're looking to get somewhere, what is your end game? I always tell my clients mm-hmm, this, what's mm-hmm. your end game? What are you trying to get out of this? Now, understand, in order for you to get there, you're going to have to give something up. Mm-hmm. You have to go into it with that mentality. But keep, keep in mind what your end game is and what the purpose is for you signing this deal. So if it happens to be a 360, yeah, fine. Get it, get got in the front so you can get it from the back. Pause. Pause, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you think that the the talk of such and such, yeah, they own a masters, I think that's really a misconception because people don't realize Jay-Z just got his masters back. Right. And he's 50 right. years old. Like, you know, when they say people come in, they got their masters, I'm like, some of their math- masters ain't worth nothing. No, <laughs> so they don't even they don't even care. You know what I'm saying? People don't really understand the concept, you know, as, as far as they just hear, like, it's almost like a, um, it's almost like a d- damn near cliche thing. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I own my masters. Yeah. But what's 100% of nothing? Nothing, yo. That, I, my audience going to laugh when you said that, because I always say, yo, you own 100% <laughs> of nothing. Congratulations. You know what I'm saying? You say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you the boss of... The projects, your suite, you know what I'm saying, is is 22A in the projects. Like, cut it out. But you got to start somewhere. And I tell people, you know, this industry is not kind to you, right? It's no. not kind. 
So I always ask people about the spooky because we, you know, we hear what Kanye said the other day. You know what I'm saying? He said some things. How real is that? I mean, it's, it's really based on your situation. So, so, so glad you brought that up because, like, like I told you, I mentioned it briefly. I said, if I would have went on that tour, or if Big was still alive and I'd have went on that tour, we probably would have been out of here. And then I also said, but you know, hindsight looking, it probably was the best thing. Mm. There's some things in this game that I didn't get to, I, I was right on the edge, right? But I didn't really get to see, but I always hear about the stories. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So it just really depends on who you are and what rooms you've been in. And if you hear these stories enough, you can't tell me that some of that shit ain't true. Yeah, so you never got the party party. <laughs> I'm glad I did. <laughs> But I know some people that got the part. Yeah, you never, you never went in a room and they passed you the mirror with the, with the, with the, with the yeah, you know, because um, it it is deep. But again, you know, that is a blessing, you know, that you never, because making it sometimes is at what cost, right? What you willing to? What we talking about? Yeah. What you willing to give up? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. you willing to give up? Yep. What you will? What you willing to give up? So we we now um. You you stepping back in you 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 why is it time now to 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 finally come back in the culture? I mean, I never left the culture, right? Okay. So well, we are technically the culture. you haven't yet. We are the culture, right? We we created this culture. Mm -hmm. The culture has expanded. The culture is what 50, 50 years old. Yeah, next year paper. be fifty. Mm -hmm. But it's cats that's older than that that created this culture, and so as long as we're still living and breathing. This is this is what the culture is, and the culture has expanded. The culture is like I do wine tastings, pairing it with hip hop. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, now the culture is a lawyer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now the culture, you know what I'm saying, you know, are 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 professional executives. They've been, you know, climbing, you know, this ladder with regards to the business, but now the culture is making movies. Now the culture is is, is writing television scripts. Now took the over television. Completely. Took over television. Completely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that now the culture is in every commercial, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So we never, uh, me myself, I never left. It's just about expanding and trying to figure out as the culture is expanding. Where's my lane? Gotcha. How do I mm -hmm. never stop making music either? Mm -hmm. I believe the album in 2013 called ESQ. The Revelation. I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. Then we released Expect the Unexpected in 2019. Then we released Glory in 2020 during the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? And and in between those times, been featured on God Rest His Soul, K Slay Projects. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, you know, and just and just continuing to, you know, give my contribution where I can, you know, in between getting married and having two beautiful children, mm -hmm. a five and eight year old, you know what I'm saying? And 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 just, you know, kind of kind of just Again, expanding. Uh, 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 what's the what's the saying I'm looking for? Uh, expanding my portfolio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally. So, so <laughs> one one thing I like about you, um, you not jaded. You not bitter. You not upset. Like you, you, you seem at peace where you Man, at in your life. Um, Man, wh why is that? Maybe you should teach people how to be at peace. I mean, it's it's cause cause there's there's. I place a different value on things like, you know, like you say, when we younger men, all I wanted to do was rap. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? All I don't want to do is spit bars and be the greatest MC of all time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? There's still that bracket, that mm -hmm. ego, that braggadocio mm -hmm. in me every time. Never you, know, leaves. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we, 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 we do it cause that's what an MC does, but there's things that are more important. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like life, like now, Especially after the pandemic, bro, I'm seeing people, especially these young folks, man. Like, like, like the other um, two days ago, this kid in, at the University of Virginia, because he's getting bullied, shoots, you know, the, the, the cats that that's bullying him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that just tells me, you know, your mind state now. Like, mm -hmm. you know, people's mind states are crazy. Mm -hmm. So. There, there's more value in life, man. There's, there's, I just, I just place a higher value on life, and that's, and, and the reason, and, and because of that, that's the reason why, you know, I'm, I'm at peace with everything. 
You know what I'm saying? As long as I can see my wife and kiss my kids in the morning, man, that's where the value is. No, e- everything man. else is recreational. This shit fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the name of the new project? Oh, man. Um, we're going to drop the new project at the top of the year. Don't have a, a release date yet, but it's called Perspective, right? Perspective. Mm. How, how, how fitting. Well, how right? fitting, right? Right <laughs> right on cue. The universe is perfect. That's why, man. The universe is perfect. When you're in tune yeah. with the universe, it just... Everything just clicks. But but the first single off the joint is Party Time 25. Mm. So again, we come in full circle. Um, we fresh out of the pandemic. We outside again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Plus it's the 25th anniversary of the theme. Mm. You know what I mean? When we dropped the single in 97. So why not do it again? And shout out to my brother OJ's. I, I rebooted my own record. Mm. And, and it's not you know, taking the the original record and rhyming over it. Like, this is some new shit. Mm. Who reboots their own record mm. and, and, and and make it 2022 and damn near give it the same energy as the original record. So I tell people all the time, and it's not on streaming platforms, it, 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 you get you got to get it directly. And, and, and the way that I'm marketing this thing is I'm giving it directly to the DJs and I'm giving it directly to the streets. And so we, it's a slow bubble. That's how this record is going to take off. Did you, know you I mean? did you, um, what, how much the original sold? That had to go gold, right? Um, I think it went gold, but yo, it's, yo, doggy, it's, it's so much. <laughs> you got to do an order to Universal, man. You got I, I to, do. man. You got to do. do an order. I, I do. I do. I, I, there's no way you can tell me that that record didn't go gold. But yeah. we never got a plaque and never got certified. But there's no way, especially by I now. Did. Yo, listen, let, yo, I went to London when I went when I was in law school. I did an exchange program in London. I never did a show over there during the time when it was hot or none of that. But I get over there mm. and every like damn it, everybody knows who the hell I am. It was a kid that 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 lives in Nigeria. They said they had the posters out there and they used to try because you know. My, um, I had the braids back then. Yes. They mm-hmm. used to, you know what I'm saying? Try to, you know, do their braids like like the poster, like my hair was. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, so you can't tell me on a worldwide scale that this record did not go gold. Mm-hmm. There's no way. Yeah. Especially it's, because because you know. At as, least go. Yeah, because you know even it's hard the way it is set up with the publishing and everything, man, they be licensing your stuff in other countries. You will have no idea. Your mechanicals, they playing in the stadiums. You got to almost audit the label. Then you got to have an administrator. It's a lot that the people don't know. It's a lot. A lot that people it, don't know. It's by design, though. Cause facts. Because they, they want to make you work. Yeah, facts. Get, and sometimes you just give up and say, it ain't no money there. Then you do an audit and say, hold on, man. y'all had 200K for me. You know what I'm saying? But they'll have it. And all these dudes is billionaire. W- one thing I want to ask you, though, how do you feel about not us not? We created the culture. We are the culture, but we don't own the culture. Man, this is a uh, a stigma, in my opinion, that we've had not only with this, but everything that we've done from jazz to rock and roll to, you know, the, the foods that we create, mm-hmm. the clothing. It's like we never see the value and ownership or mm-hmm. at least holding out until we are able to position ourselves to, if we're going to sell it, be on the board or keep a certain piece where you have stock value. In mm-hmm. it, you know what I'm saying? Um, we haven't learned that concept of business. We're just now getting to that point. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now think about that. We we we've been in this country what five six hundred years. We're just net our gener like the 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 I guess I would say my mom's generation is the baby boomers. Right, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they were taught to go get a job. Our generation Gen X, yes, we were the first entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. if you will, from a, from a grand perspective. Mm-hmm. Like we were the ones to say, hey, we're not going to work. We're going to start our own thing. Mm-hmm. And then these kids took it somewhere with technology. Well, shit, they ain't even got to build a brick and mortar. They could do that shit from their computer. Mm -hmm. So it's it's an evolution, right? But we're just now getting to the point. Just now. Because we're so used to having a a family house in the city, in in the cities. And then they come and say, I want to buy your house. And you say, take it. I'm moving down south with the money. 
but you might have took 500000 for your house. But if you had to wait it three years, your house would have been worth $3 million. Because we never had it. We never had it. So, yeah, that amount of money, they just throw it at you. <laughs> you and be like, saying? give me, give me, give me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's, it, and, and then even sometimes, you know, you could, you could, it's a lot you can do. But, again, you know, it's one of the things that I talk to my audience about. I say when we when we listen to these hip hop billionaires, because they quick to say who's a billionaire, who's this, who's that. I said one thing I knocked them for, not that they get money, not their success. I knocked them because they don't give us the information. Nice. We need the information nice. so we all could eat. Holding information is 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 some real ten percent of shit to me. You know what I'm saying? That's like one of the worst things you could do because we need to know how we're gonna survive. And if I survive. Then if you ever take a fall, I got you. Yo, we good. But it's like it's some elitist thing in this culture too that I just don't like. Cause I don't believe in black excellence. I don't, I don't I think that that's a slogan. Yep. All the black excellence dudes stick together. They the don't give a damn. The label it separates us. It's a label. Exactly. Yeah. Start labeling things that means separation. Think about it, man. It's the same concept as why do you, why do you think they used to kill us for 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 if if they caught you reading? They a knew book? how to read. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You yeah, but this, die. but this is what I'm saying. Now we're at a time where we can be educated. We can learn. So if you're at an advanced level of learning, even if you say I'm gonna do a course, you are a billionaire, a mm -hmm. billionaire. A few times over, you're supposed to at least say, "Yo, look, fuck me." All right, I'm mid forties. Fuck me. Set mm -hmm. something up for the kids, man. Set something up. Set up a workshop for these little ones and stop signing them. And doing to them what was done to you. Because that's how some of y'all got y'all billions. You're still thieves. So I like to tell people, if he's a billionaire, you know he got a boss, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think his boss got? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got Because billionaires are created when it comes to us in our culture. They they created. You know what I'm saying? So Handpicked. Yeah, Hand yeah, yeah. You know, they conform and they do a lot. So um, the project, so you don't really have a title for it. Perspective, no, title, perspective, perspective. You don't have a release date. You don't have a release date. But it will be the top of the year. We're going to drop the video for uh, Party uh, party Time 25 on New Year's Eve. Mm. Um, we may put it on streaming platforms before then. We'll see. Uh, but we got some other things that we're going to roll out uh, before we officially dropped the single and like i said the the video whether we drop the single on streaming platforms or not will be coming out uh, on new year's eve so you got any features on here nah just you just just me and my man old jazz so he's on a who's on a production just him on a production well well this time around he's gonna he's doing like five cuts uh, it's, it's, well, what I did was is I went back and got producers that I worked with over the last two albums that I've done. Mm -hmm. So I got, um, <clears throat> I got my man B's on a couple of tracks. Uh, he's a cat out of Ohio, but he moved down to Atlanta. I got an overseas, uh, 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 uh tandem, um, that did a couple of tracks on the first, on, on the ESQ album mm -hmm. that's doing one track on here. I got another producer that's out in Minneapolis, um, that's that, that's doing the track on here. I got my man E Jones, who's a part of the Soul Council, um, under Ninth Wonder. Mm -hmm. That's doing Crisis the track on Ninth Wonder. Yeah, Crisis yeah. Ninth Wonder. I think Knotts is down with them too. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, who else is on this album? Uh, my man Aaron Harden, who mm -hmm. who who works with my man Eric Robeson. Uh, mm -hmm. he's doing the track on the album, and I'm waiting for this. Okay, you know what? Mm -hmm. A lot. I'm waiting on this one feature. I can't say who it is. Got you. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, if I get this one feature, oh my God. This yeah, is yeah, it. yeah. But if you don't get the feature, you, are, still you are the feature. You are the feature. Yeah, they, 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 what's what's all your social media? Oh uh, man, you can go to Tracy Lee ESQ on IG and on uh, uh, TikTok, Tracy Lee ESQ, T-R-A-C-E-Y-L-E-E-S-Q. You can go to Trey Lee at Trey Lee on Twitter. That's T-R-A-Y-L-E-E. -E. Um, I'm also on Facebook under Tracy Lee. Mm -hmm. And then more importantly, the website, TracyLeeMusic.com, T-R-A-C-E-Y-L-E-E -E -E, music.com. And then on YouTube is Left Entertainment, which is the label. It's, that's left spelled with two L's, L-L-E-F-T Entertainment. So Tracy Lee is your government name? Yep. 
that's that's why did why did you do that? Actually, it was uh, Mark and Derek. You know, what I'm saying? I mean, if if it, it it fits, like it's not like your name was you know uh, Bartholomew <laughs> Jenkins or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's I mean, the it syllables. This you genius. know because yeah. Cause um, like I was L Rock before, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like you know, that was now L Rock wasn't gonna work. Ninety seven, yeah, nah, ninety seven. That, that was I had L. That was this era. That was yeah, that was L Rock ski. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. you know why? Because I've always um like I me being loving hip hop, I loving hip hop so much. I study stuff. So when I think of like Eric Sermon, Parrish mm -hmm. Smith, Reggie Noble. Keith Murray. I think of the syllable, so it's like Tracy Lee. Okay, you, that's that's like it fits in when people use their real name. It's not too many syllables. You know what I'm saying? It's like two or Plus three the syllables. Chick, the chick and, and my mama. My mama was like, yo, man, they, they want to change my name to Tracy Lee. She was like, hell yeah. Because that's a unisex I name. name. Let's yeah. go. Yes, yeah, uni <laughs> Tracy is a unisex name. And it, yep. it's a unit. So, so, so before that's an interesting point because before the wreck, when like they just saw Tracy Lee, they didn't know who I was. They mm. didn't know if I was, you know, Asian. They didn't know if I was a girl. If I was, you know, what I mean, they no clue. Yo, 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 your SEO probably come up crazy in China, though. You know that, right? X because of the Lee. Yeah, that SEO come up crazy because there's a lot of Lees out there. You know, I saying? got a lot of work to do, bro. It's a lot of work to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I, I took it somewhere else. I know that yeah, computer yeah. shit, but I'm like, no, that's real rap. Yeah, though. they love that Lee. You know what I'm saying? They love the Lee. And um, they might even um, you could have a real big fan base out there because that's your name. You know what I'm saying? They love Bruce Lee. Um, my, my homie name is Quan Lee, and they swear he's Chinese, but he's black. But his name is Quan Lee. You know what I'm and saying? They love hip hop. Yeah, they, they love, love they love hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So um. I right, man, when the album come out, you know you gotta come back because we gonna go through it, and um, you know what I'm saying we were supposed to have been through this. Shout out to DJ No Frills. He said, "Yo, you want to interview Tracy Lee?" He said, "Well, I said, do it tonight, man. Shit, we we not promised nothing. So this how I work. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, nah, let's do it now. Let's have it in the books. We could get it out there for the world because this is our digital fingerprint. You know what I'm saying? This is our digital footprint. So if we don't wake up tomorrow." You know, hopefully the universe, you know, grants us that we got, this is what, this is what they last heard from us. You know what I'm saying? And this is for the world. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, you got a crazy story, but like I said, I respect the fact that I know it's more to the stories, but you know, you would be in a little light <laughs> and, um, it didn't, it, we'll it, it, we'll think it yeah, that's what I'm saying, but it didn't break you though. And I, and I respect that, you know what I'm saying? It didn't break you because, some people sour on the game. They're like, yo, I ain't rapping no more. I ain't going to no parties. You see them somewhere, they become a, you know, they might be in the in the bush somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Eating berries and, you know, because, mm -hmm. yo, where the hell is Megahertz? You understand what I'm saying? Did you hear the, did you hear the story of Megahertz? If that's uh, true, nah, they said he just went off the grid. Wow. He just left. And remember, he did Best of Both Worlds for Jay-Z. Then he did yes. the um, Bad Boy for Life. He did a lot of beats. And then something, something happened. So nobody knows where he is. Look up his story. They said he just went off the grid. Like, no phone, no nothing. He just, you ain't going to find him. Man. Yeah, the you know, game, the game damaged a lot of people. The man, game is you. the game is the game is the game. You gotta be in it to win it. But then you also gotta know when I ain't playing this game no more. Because the game is playing me. You know what I'm saying? The game is playing me. How do 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 you take um clients or how do people reach you? Absolutely. You can go to um either you can go to tracyleemusic.com or you can go to left ent.com. L L E F T E N T. Matter of fact. For for legal services, I prefer you go there. I try to keep it separate. You know, the music side is the music side, legal side is the legal side. So yeah, definitely hit me up. You know what I mean? Like I told you though, I, I, you know, depending on the situation, I probably give more consultation mm -hmm. than actual, you know, heavy paperwork. It it, it just depends. But yeah. I like to counsel. I like to give people information. You but but you saying? can look over somebody some paperwork for somebody and say, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Cause absolutely. I think I think more people should hit you up and say, could you look over this paperwork? Because I tell I, everybody, absolutely. get you a lawyer. 
They got legal yeah, entertainment, leads. Get an entertainment, entertainment lawyer. Yeah, don't get no um tax lawyer to, to, to look because they got legal leads. And what it say on this page, when it say that on that page, that page might take precedent over this page. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes when you see a contract, these dudes be giving you templates from the internet. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I done negotiated sometimes and we like, let's what we gonna do. We just gonna take this whole paragraph out. Just take it out. We ain't amending it. Nothing. Just take it out. I don't want nothing to do with that. You know what I'm Red saying? Line, yeah, yeah. That. That's what I'm saying. We ain't amending nothing. Just take it out. You know what I'm saying? Just take it out. But again, um, yo, man, I want to thank you. I definitely had fun interviewing you. And um, I'm about to let you on Facebook in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put, put some of this out because um, it's going to blow their mind. Some of this going to blow their mind. They, they like... Whatever, but um, when the album come out, let's definitely come back and let's let's wrap it up because I want to go through it. I, I definitely want you to hear because I know you 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 kind of hard on people, so yeah. Man, I, I listen, man. They, I, I, I look, look like even today I said, yo, sonically, the Doggy Style might be the best album ever, and people are like, no, it's Wu Tang, Thirty Six Chambers. I'm like, y'all don't know what sonically mean, <laughs> man. Like, come on, man. I didn't say the best rap album, the best beats. I said sonically. And what I don't like, bro, is that everybody want to be in the culture, but they don't want to learn the culture. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Anything you get into, you got to learn it. You got to sit at somebody's feet because they're going to teach you. Y'all just coming in blind and thinking, you know, nah, just, just, yo, when I first got in, he's been like, why are you so quiet? Like, I'm not quiet, but I don't want to you know, where am I welcome? You know what I'm saying? I'm in the studio. First time I'm in the studio, Adam Youch walking, you know what I'm saying? Mary walking and I'm like 15. So I'm like, oh shit, this is real. So I ain't going to, man, when I go back around the way, I want my 40. I want my yeah. Chinese food. I want, but I'm not going to bring that element here because here, you know, when you get around, that's why, you know, and I tell people too, get your passport and travel. Right. When you start seeing the world, you realize it's more than the four corners of your block. And you'd be like, Oh no, nah, I gotta travel every three months. You know what I'm saying? You start, you start, you start, it changes your again. mindset. Could you, could you please say that Look, again? Get your I passport, so get your passport and travel. When you see the world, you realize it is a world. There's places you're gonna go where everybody is welcoming to you. They open the door for you, they feed you. You're gonna be like, hold on, this exists some yes, it exists somewhere. So you mm -hmm. got to get from away from that concrete, away from that pain and suffering. Just go somewhere, kick your feet up and get pampered. There's places where you could go. You're going to fall asleep on the beach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go somewhere and bug out because you're going to see mountains of food and don't even realize you can eat as much as it as you want. <laughs> you can eat some of that pudding over there. You can eat some of that rice. They got jerk chicken on. And you're going to be like, Yo, this is because the first time I went away, all you get, um, um, all inclusive, I was like, yo, all this is free. Like, I'm like, yo, this is free. How much does this cost? Like, nah, it's, it's free. And you're like, it's excluded. Hold on. Nah, this is the life. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, man, just get on that plane and leave here, man. Leave here. Leave the country. Go to different countries. Go, 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 go live, man. Because one thing, if you ain't promised nothing, you're going to die. That's right. But instead of trying not to die, you have to live. Stop trying not to die. So Tracy Lee, man, I appreciate you. I thank you. Um, I'll holler at you later on. DJ No Frills put this together today. Like yes. we ain't we ain't wait two months or none of that. I was a little late because my stomach. Shout out to Frills. Yeah, no, shout out to so Frills. Good. Yeah, my stomach was a little stupid because um taking these supplements i went to the gym early and i didn't eat and i took vitamins my stomach was like okay yeah, yeah you want to play that. yeah so that's what it is i'm gonna close you out and um thank you for being here bro appreciate you my brother yes peace so yeah man i was tracy lee man um i'm happy like i've been wanting to interview tracy lee you know um we gonna come back hold on before we go we're not even over yet let me ask you one more thing let me ask you one more thing before we go well, i was about to leave the drink champs thing. Nori is my guy, but the drink champs thing. How did you react to that when you heard that? The first time I heard, you was it, pissed off at first. Keep because he did no, no, no. He did it twice. Okay, right. He did it once when C's and Jada Kiss was on there, and you know 
I, I mean, first of all, I was I was kind of shocked because it's like my name just came out of nowhere because they were talking about Big. And then all of a sudden, Nori goes, yo, who that rapper was from Philly? So, da, 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 da. Oh, he bodied him. He bodied And I was like, damn, I just came out. But but my man Jada held it down, mm -hmm. and he told Nori. Because Nori tried to create the narrative that he bodied me so much that I left the game because oh, he bodied me. Oh, got you. And then Jada said, nah, son, he's a lawyer. Mm. And he still does music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And Effin was even trying to hold it down like, nah, that record worked. Mm -hmm. No way you bugging. But then he comes back on a whole nother episode <laughs> and does it again with meth. You know what I'm saying? Because they start talking about the what and all that. And so here comes Noi. Now, I know Tracy Lee hates me by now, but yo, he body Tracy Lee. And I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm sitting there like, okay, that's twice probably in a, in, in, in a, maybe like a three week span, span yeah now, was real mm -hmm. close mm -hmm. so i'm like damn i'm i'm on your brain like mm -hmm. that like i don't i i i never even i don't even think i even met nori before i may have saw him in passing back then or whatever but i don't think we officially chopped it up and all that you know what i mean so I, it just got me to wondering like you've been holding this for that long <laughs> bring my name up like twice and the same like you know so i didn't really get mad i just think it was based on ignorance. I also think that there was a lot of people back then kind of hot with me because of the fact that I got a feature with Big where they couldn't get a feature with Big. Mm -hmm. See you know what I'm saying? And I'm a new cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not yeah, even yeah. from New York, not even from these circles, none of that. So they probably wondered, how the hell did he get a record with Big? You know what I mean? And Big didn't rhyme with everybody. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how did he do that? So I think it. I think a lot of that came from then, because you know, I hey, look, man. I'm like, I'm like Switzerland, man. I'm cool with everybody. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no problems with nobody. So, and I'm sure somebody got in his ear after that, because he ain't never. And I and I addressed it on this record called Smoke. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I said, you know, I'm gonna let him run with it. He don't know no better. Like I ain't done with it. Like, like okay, it, 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 you know, you don't really wanna. Now I'm gonna talk my shit. Mm -hmm. If you want to get into a matter of fact, let's make a record together. Mm -hmm. Cause we can get into a, a a verbal, you know what I mean, and make a great record, but let's let's go with the bars. Let's mm -hmm. do that if that's what you want to do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um yeah, yeah but, but I was never mad. Shout out to Noy. I was never mad at Noy. You, you ever been invited to do drink champs? I would love to do drink champs, but nah. He ain't nah. Okay. And I know several people that reached out to try to make that happen, but you know, I understand, I, I do understand this. I may not be a big enough name to go in there by myself. So somebody tried to introduce the whole idea of me and my man, DJ Young Guru. You know what I'm saying? Who Young Who went to school with y'all too? That's my brother. And of course, you know, he's the engineer for Jay and DJ for, for Jay and all that. So you bring that whole package in, you know what I'm saying? And then maybe we could have, you know, have a discussion. You know what's that. even deeper? You? Young Guru, Ron Lawrence, yes. D Dot. Yep. That would be crazy. That's that's the whole Howard crew. That, you know what that, I'm saying? That, that that's crazy. see Nori don't steal it now. You gotta give me my credit. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to text him in a few minutes to be like, yo, go got an that idea for you. Crazy. I got that an idea for you. So yeah, because um that would be yeah, that would be dope. Because I don't no, even know I don't even Nori know that they two kings in the cipher though. Nah, he don't. Yeah, you know that. You got to be a historian to know something yeah. like that. You, know you knew that. He yeah, I knew that. that. Yeah, because I remember, you know why? That's why I always praise Ralph. Mm. Ralph McDaniels. Because yes. he gave yes. us all of that. I didn't yes. know. We wasn't going to see them hip-hop videos back then. I didn't have cable. You know what I'm saying? So when I seen Two Kings and the Cypher... You know what I'm saying? I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't get what's happening right here. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get it, but then... You know, they went on to be the hitmen. And it was like, hold on. That's them? Oh, okay. Now it now it starts to make sense. You know what I'm saying? It it starts to make sense. So all right, now 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 I'm good. I just had to get that out. I, I, I had to get that out. So yo, man, until next time, peace. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, y'all, man. I just had to get that last story out before we bounce. So yo, you already know what you gotta do. Make sure you go uh subscribe to the channel. Go to the interviewking.com too, cause see, this is what happens, right? YouTube be trying to play with my notifications. 
So we got to outsmart YouTube. So what I did, I created a website. So when you go there now, you sign up for the website. Every time I post a video, you get the email from me. I can't wait for nobody to give you an email. That's my product. I'm going to make sure that I personally give you the email. So when you sign up, you say, I didn't get the notification. I didn't get this. No, 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 no. We changing that. We program the computers. The computers don't program us. So now if you sign up to this website, all you got to do is put your email in. You will get all the emails directly. On that note, you already know when you're walking around me, you got to tiptoe.